Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today's video is going to be super awesome because I have a brand new smartphone to show you all. This is Xiaomi's brand new Redmi Go. It's a new super budget phone from the company. Xiaomi is planning to release this phone for around 3500 to 4000 rupees and for that price this phone packs some really nice specs which I'll tell you in this video. Redmi Go is not yet available in India that's why I had to directly import it from China. So the new Redmi Go comes in this sort of box packing. We've got the Mi logo at the top and says Redmi Go over here. It's a simple looking white box with the Mi branding all over it. As you can see on the sides also it says Redmi Go and this is the global variant so it comes with support for a lot of different languages. Now let's see what else is written on the back side. We've got some of its specs over here. The Redmi Go is a dual SIM phone and it also supports 4G. Talking about its highlights, the phone has a 5 inch 720p HD display, it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon quad core CPU, has 3000mAh battery and has an 8MP camera on the back and a 5MP selfie camera on the front. Talking about the variants, the Redmi Go comes in two colors guys, black and blue, I've got the blue color model. And it comes in two configurations, one plus 8GB and one plus 16GB. We have the base model, one plus 8GB variant on my desk. So those were some of its highlights. I'm pretty excited to unbox and check out the phone, so let's get started. Let me grab my knife and cut this out of packing. I wanna thank Gearbest for sending me this product for review. By the way, Gearbest is celebrating their 5th anniversary sale which is on 21st of March. They are having a huge anniversary sale going on right now. The preheat session has already started where they are offering huge discounts on a wide range of products. If you are planning on buying something, do visit their website during this period. I also have a lot of deals, coupons and discount codes which I'll leave in the description box below. If you are interested, don't forget to check them out. So coming back to the video, let's open the box and check out the phone. And by the way, this new Redmi Go doesn't come with MIUI. It runs on stock Android Go Edition operating system. Android Go Edition was made specially for entry-level smartphones. I'll tell you about that once I power on the phone. So here it is, our brand new budget phone from Xiaomi. Wow, so this is how the Redmi Go looks like. We've got the blue color variant. Oh, not bad guys, looks pretty decent for the price. So before we go in detail about the phone, let me first keep it aside and show you what else we got in the box. We've got a small accessory box at the top. I wonder if they gave a case for it. Okay, there's a SIM ejection tool over here. And unfortunately, there's no case in the box. You just have some documents. It's a user guide, so make sure to read that for full info on the product. Along with that, you get a Xiaomi branded power adapter. It's a 5V 1A power adapter. And finally, you get a micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. So these are all the items you got in the package. Now let's finally check out the phone. Here it is Xiaomi's brand new Redmi Go. It's a super budget phone. It's already available in China for sale but I think it will be launching in India very soon. And talking about the price, I guess in India it will go on sale for a price range of around 3500 to 4000 rupees. Alright let me just give you an overview on the phone. The Redmi Go has a 5 inch 720p HD display with an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 and also this phone doesn't have any sort of notch. So going to the top you got a 5 megapixel selfie camera with f2.2 aperture, an earpiece and some sensors beside that. On the bottom side we've got some old school capacitive touch buttons. I'm seeing them after a really long time. You've got a back, home and also a multitask button. I'm not sure if they are backlit or not, we'll just have to power it on and see. Now before we check out the back, let me show you what do we have on the sides. The phone is about 8.35mm thick and on the right side there's a power button and a volume rocker above that. The quality of the buttons is also good. Now going to the top part, it has a secondary noise cancellation mic. I totally didn't expect to see that on this cheap phone. And beside that we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack. Going to the left side we've got two sim card trays, one is dedicatedly for a nano sim and the other one supports a nano sim plus a micro SD card. It's a dual sim phone, supports 4G and the storage is also expandable up to 128 GB. And on the bottom side you've got a microphone, a regular micro USB port and a single darn firing speaker. And this is how the phone looks from the back. There's one more sticker over here, let me just peel it. And this is how the new Redmi Go looks from the back. Not bad guys, it looks very nice for the price point, love the blue color on it. The back of the phone has a nice metallic finish but I can definitely say it's plastic. And also the back is not flat on the sides, it has a smooth curved body so it feels very nice when you hold it. And going to the top you've got a single rear camera that to at the same surface level of the body. It's got an 8 megapixel f2.0 camera with a tiny LED flash beside that. So that was our first look at the phone guys. 
From my first impressions, I can definitely tell the phone looks really decent for the price and the build quality is also good. Now let's power on the phone and see if it's got some juice in it. By the time the phone boots up, let's go through the specs. The Xiaomi's Redmi Go has a 5-inch 720p HD display with a resolution of 1280 by 720. It's powered by Snapdragon 425 quad-core CPU, clocked at 1.4 GHz, has Adreno 308 GPU, comes in either OnePlus 8 GB or OnePlus 16 GB variants, has an 8 megapixel f2.0 camera at the back, a 5 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera on the front, and comes with 3000 mAh battery. All right, guys, I'm back. The phone has finally booted up, and I've also gone through the setup process. The phone doesn't have both fingerprint scanner as well as face unlock, but again you can't expect those kind of features on such a low price phone. Let me tell you about the build quality. The build quality looks very decent for the price, and it doesn't look cheap from any angle. Talking about the comfort and the in-hand feel, the Redmi Go feels really comfortable to hold, all thanks to its smooth curved back. It's also pretty lightweight, weighs only around 137 grams. Now let me power it on and show you the display. So this is how the display on it looks like. As I've told you earlier, it's got that old school 16 to 9 look with thick bezels. They should have at least gone with an 18 to 9 aspect ratio. That would have given a nice look to the phone. And here's how the home screen on it looks like. The Redmi Go runs on Android Go operating system, which was specially designed for low end entry level phones. It's like an operating system with very minimum bloatware, so you can get better performance and more free storage out of the box. You're getting a pure vanilla Android experience on this phone to get the best possible performance. The overall UI feels pretty smooth, the app opening speeds, transitions all look good so far. And as I've told you, this phone only has 1 GB of RAM. Come on Xiaomi, this is 2019, you should have given at least 2 GB of RAM. Ok, let's check out the settings app. The UI looks pretty much the same, let's go to the about phone section. As you can see, the model is Redmi Go, it runs on Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box. Here's the easter egg. And the security patch it's running is Jan 2019. So those are all of its software details. Now let's check out the storage section. But before that, let me tell you about the capacitive buttons. The capacitive buttons also offer haptic feedback when you touch them. But the only thing is they're not backlit. Ok, so this is the base 8GB variant. And out of the box you get around 4.4 to 4.5GB of usable space. As I've already installed some apps on it, we're left with 4.23GB of free space. But no worries, you can even expand the storage using a microSD card. So that was about the storage. Going to the system settings, as soon as I powered it on, the phone got a system update. I haven't done that yet, we'll do it later. Also, we'll have to see if the company will release Android 9 update for this phone. I'll keep you guys updated on that. So that was about the settings. Now let's talk about the display. The display looks pretty good from my first impressions. Let me just play a video on YouTube and show you both the display as well as the speaker quality. Hey what's up guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video is going to be a bit different guys, it's more like an educational video. Now summer is already approaching and the temperature is getting quite hot and during this period most of the people are in search of ACs and air coolers you know, to beat this summer heat. But ACs and air coolers are a bit expensive and most The Redmi Go has a 5 inch 720p HD display with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. For the price point, I have to say the display looks very good and satisfactory. It's got 296 ppi with 318 nits of brightness and 1000 is to 1 contrast ratio. The screen is bright enough and the colors also look good. I've got no complaints for the price. The speaker quality was also nice, it was crisp and clear with good audio output. So that was our first look at the display and the speaker quality. As I've told you at the beginning, it has Android Go operating system. And all the pre-installed Google apps are the light Go versions like you have YouTube Go, Gmail Go, Google Go and much more. So this OS will save both the storage as well as offer better performance on entry level phones. Let me also quickly open CPU Z and show you the list of all available sensors. As you can see it's got the Snapdragon 425 quad core CPU which is clocked at 1.4 GHz. And here's the list of all available sensors. It's pretty nice that the company has included almost all the basic sensors a phone should have. It has GPS plus GLONASS, proximity, ambient light sensor and much more. Now let me also open the camera app and show you how the interface looks like. It's got an 8 megapixel f2.0 camera at the back with 1.12 micrometer pixel size and has a very simple UI. You've got only 4 modes, photo, video, square and manual which is nothing but the pro mode. And yes, it supports autofocus. At the bottom, there's a shutter button, gallery, front camera toggle and it even supports HDR. Let me just quickly take a photo and see how fast the shutter is. Ok, not bad, decent speed. Alright guys, I have to put this phone to a lot of testing. This was just an unboxing and quick review video. I'll have to use this phone for some time before I can make a full review on it. We'll talk about the cameras also in the full review video. 
And by the way, this phone can also shoot video in 1080p Full HD at 30 frames per second. So that was my unboxing and first impressions on the new Redmi Go. It's a super budget phone from the company and the phone looks promising for the price. It's got decent specs, Android Go light operating system, the build quality is good and the display is also fine. I'll be using this phone for a few days before I can give my full review on it. In the full review video, we'll talk about the performance, gaming, see if this cheap budget phone can actually play games like PUBG, the camera quality and also about the battery life. So stay tuned for that video. Right now, this phone is available on Gearbest for 4,500 rupees. I'm not sure when it'll be available in India, but if you can't wait and want to get your hands on it, you can get it from Gearbest. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.